guys welcome back to the channel Yorkshire Crafter my name's Julie and today I have got a floss tube for you guys so this is floss tube 119 so I have got some projects some whips to share with you guys I've got um, one thing I think I've seen online um, I have a little bit of haul and then I am going to do a giveaway at the end so let's get into the whips and what I have been stitching on this week so after filming last week I got straight into stitching and I stitched on cat on a bookshelf so let me show you what that one is going to look like. So it is this one from Artise. So cat on a bookshelf. So yeah, after filming I decided to pull this one out and put a little bit more into it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, this is where we are now. I did a center start, and yeah, I uh, haven't fully kitted this one up yet, but yeah, like I said, I wanted to start this one, so I found some um, 310 that I had. Um, I've since picked out some more colours from my stash I think I've got most of them I don't know if I'm missing a couple but um, yeah this is where we are now so the centre is obviously the kitty so yeah I'll start it in the centre so that's where we are with that one <clears throat> excuse me that's where we are with that one now then on Saturday I worked on Turtle Quaker let me find and this is by Owl Forest Embroiderer and this is what this one will look like when it's finished so I have started in the center with the big turtle so this when I <laughs> wrangle the big piece of fabric so this is where we are now with turtle Quaker so yeah like I said Saturday I put a few more stitches in so yeah that's where we are oops pull that thread out the way you might to see it a bit better so that's where we are with that one currently so a big piece of fabric to try and wrangle with <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Just have a drink, clear my throat. Mm. There we go. So, on Sunday, I stitched on Stitcher's Paradise, and this was a stitch along. This is by Shannon Christine Designs. Like I said, originally this was a stitch along, so it came out in parts. Obviously all the parts have since been released, but this is what this one is going to look like. And um, I am stitching it as a stitch along, so doing the parts. So the first part is the house, and yeah, that's what I have been concentrating on. 
so that's what I've been concentrating on and getting the house stitched so yeah stitches at paradise by Shannon Christine designs I'm stitching this on 16 count Ada um, I think I think cat on a bookshelf is 16 count and turtle Quaker is on 14 count so this is where we are now but it's all yellow stitches you can kind of see it so I've been working on the house and then I moved over and I wanted a bit of a different colour so I got the greens in and then I've started a little bit excuse me a little bit of the uh, purple the lavender so yeah I've done some of the flowers on the side so that's where we are with that one at the minute like I said it's 16 count Ada that I uh, tea, tea dyed I don't think it was it tea and coffee I think yeah tea coffee dyed <coughs> so that was that one and then on Monday I also worked on Stitcher's Paradise I've not been telling you guys my stitch count so cat on a bookshelf got 209 turtle quaker got 351 and then stitches paradise i stitched on it sunday and monday for a total of 343 stitches so that's where we're up to so tuesday i stitched on two projects so the first one was Santa's Balloon. So let me get that one up. So Santa's Balloon and this is by Owl Stitching House, I believe. Yes, Owl Stitching House. So this is Santa's Balloon. So this is what this one is going to look like so yeah owl stitching house santa's balloon and this one got santa's balloon 241 stitches so into santa's balloon so i finished off this red part of the balloon uh, yeah I think that's what that was yeah finished off this red bit of the balloon and I've come across and started now I'm going to do this side and then the fill in at either side is going to be white it's a red and white balloon and then I'll carry on and finish doing this green here but yeah these patches in the middle are just red fill in <clears throat> so I need to get those stitched up really so yeah what did I say 241 stitches and that is on a 14 count navy blue Ada so that day I also stitched on stitch witch As you guys know this is a stitch along here on my channel and also in my Facebook group and this is Stitch Witch from Tiny Modernist so there is a few of us in Zoom that are stitching this one together and yeah people have been posting regularly so yeah this is Stitch Witch from Tiny Modernist and I have stitched this for two days so Tuesday and a little bit on Wednesday morning for a total of 325 stitches 
so I haven't done anything on the top so I will show you where I, where I have worked and then the, the piece overall so I finished the roof of the house and I've changed mine to grey because my house is purple so I've changed that also and the witch's boots but I did that previously and I have been working on this pumpkin at the bottom so I've been doing this orange pumpkin in here so I will show you the piece so for 325 stitches so this is where Stitch Witch is currently so yeah that's how much of her I have got done and I must say I am thoroughly enjoying this one I really am but um, I've been concentrating on Christmas in July so Jolly July so yeah I've been concentrating on those projects but I do need to start pulling this one back out um, if you about if you are part of my group you will have seen that we have had one person finish it and that is Crafty Chris so yeah head over to the Facebook group and go see Chris's finish so yes 325 stitches on Stitch Witch and this is again a 14 count Ada and this was part of a pack of four print dyed fabric from Amazon so on the back it's just the uh, white and then we've got like the greeny blue and yeah, it was a, a pack of four print dyed fabric that I got gifted from my husband a while ago might have been either last birthday or Christmas before last but yeah <laughs> so I have got another piece um, of that printed fabric for for a birthday start my be kind uh, craft along so um, any craft as long as it has the words be kind so yeah I've got another um, like blue fabric like sky and clouds and so I'm gonna stitch the uh, the be kinds one on that kind of fabric so again yeah 14 count so then I had a new start on Wednesday and this is for somebody's birthday in Zoom um, it's their birthday this weekend so um, again there is a few of us stitching this and this is from Doreen Jones and it's patterned cat one and it's a pattern with three cats on it very very cute so Doreen Jones has designed this one with three cats on which is called pattern one there's a pattern two with just two cats on but then she also has two other patterns with five cats on. So there's some cats facing this way, like this one. And then there's another one with the cats facing that way. So yeah, there's the, the bigger option with five cats on. Or there's these ones with three or two cats. But we've we've picked, he's picked this one pattern one with the three cats on so I started that one on Wednesday and I have decided to go a little bit rogue with mine I have changed some of the colors um, particularly the ones in the border so it's going to be really bright and bold <laughs> but I am going to try to keep the colours in the middle particularly the colours in the cats themselves 
so this one got 291 stitches so this is a 14 count uh, tea dyed so I tea dyed it because I didn't want it white but I didn't want it sort of too dark oh yes I think it's tea and coffee dyed because we've got the little bit of the dark at the bottom so yeah tea and coffee dyed this was a longer piece of fabric that I wasn't sure what I was going to do on so I cut it in half and yeah this pattern fit perfectly and I've got another piece exactly the same size as this so if I did want to do the pattern two with the two cats on then I have that piece to be able to do that but yeah so this one got 291 stitches and I believe this is a 14 count header so last but not least what did I work on yesterday so I worked on one of the patterns from a stitch rovia book so this is cross stitch for the sole and i have been doing a little bit more on this one so it says always be yourself because the people that matter don't mind and the ones that mind don't matter so i started this one back in may for mental health may with candy the 614 stitcher and i only had i think the p the l and i had started the e so i have finished all this people that and then we've got this word up here that's going to be uh, the whole word is going to be yourself so this one at the end is going to be the F. So I'm just coming into doing the S. So people that, and then I've started this long word. And again, I am changing the colours. So people that, and then I've come and I'm doing yourself, this word, up here. So this was obviously a pattern in a book so i wasn't counting stitches or anything like that so yeah i didn't count i didn't count keep track so but yeah so i stitched that one yesterday so my little bit of haul that i've had was my two magazines uh i got these on wednesday um recorded them um late afternoon and um yeah so you will have seen one late yesterday no late wednesday and one yesterday so i think you saw cross stitcher first and then the world of cross stitching so i've got these um sticky notes in of um patterns that i do want to stitch so a little sneak peek so we've got um, sunshine and flowers so i definitely want to stitch that one and this giraffe one for um deborah's uh palooza um i did a diamond painting i have started a printed cross stitch but i haven't I haven't brought that out in a while now um but yeah i would like to do that one for deborah's palooza um this one is the hello kitty <laughs> so this is a margaret sherry design so yeah that is another one that i would like to get to stitch but um, yeah, I definitely think the uh, band sampler is going to be one of the ones that I would like to start. But uh, yeah, we'll just see, you know, fabric and supplies and yeah. I uh, 
still need to order that big piece, that uh, roll of just white Ada that we get from uh, Amazon. My husband said um, maybe next week we can uh, order that. So yeah, we'll just see. So that is everything stitching wise. So um, just to let you all know, I'm not going to be around this weekend. Um, I won't, I'm not going to be able to take part in the 24 hours of cross stitch or the cross stitch zoom or the long dog um, on Sunday. Um, I have got a family event over the weekend. Um, tomorrow we're all getting together and then Sunday we're also getting together. Um, I believe Saturday we're just sort of getting together after lunch, um, sort of spending the afternoon together and then going for a nice tea at an Italian restaurant. And then Sunday we are going back to uh, where we used to live in Meltham. We're going to go and see, well, we're going to Mark's mum's and stepdad's for a barbecue get together. So, yeah. So from sort of Saturday after lunch right through until Sunday whenever um, obviously we'll come home in between and sleep <laughs> and yeah but I'm not gonna have much time for anything else so um, they, they probably well they will def not, definitely not be a video on Sunday so I will not be able to do my Sunday catch up but like I said we're having some family time and spending some time with uh, Mark's side of the family, his mum and stepdad and uh, sister and stepbrothers and sister-in-laws and yeah, having some uh, some family time. Um, so yeah, there won't be a video on Sunday. Um, so, but yeah. <laughs> but I will be back. Um, yeah, Sunday, whenever, we'll be back. So I should be uh, fresh and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for the Disney Dolls House on Monday. Um, yeah, it is going to be quite a big uh, issue, the next couple of ones for the Disney Doll House. There is quite a bit to do in the next couple of issues, so we're having some special guests on. Um, Mark's coming in. On Monday and then the following Monday uh, Chris's husband uh, Dave will be uh, coming to help us and then I'm not sure about the issue after that because I do believe that that third issue for this pack is another big one so we uh, might have guests again but I definitely do know that the next two issues there is quite a bit to do. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I I digress. You're here for stitching, not for my ramblings. Um. So the Darin Jones Friday freebie, and this time it is. Well, I'll show you. It's this one, so the home sweet home. And she says, good morning everyone. I've got a fun little home sweet home design for this Friday freebie. This week for you all, which would look cute, stitched and displayed in a little hoop. Yeah. So home sweet home and it's a, a wreath. There's some flowers and then at the bottom there's a little house, like a little, looks like a little be beach hut kind of thing so really cute but yeah that is the Doreen Jones Friday freebie so right 
last but not least is the giveaway so this is the chart that i would like to give away if some of you have watched me right from the beginning i did start this one and i think i got some of the sleigh done and a little bit of the reindeer and but i don't know i just wasn't getting pulled to stitch it so i would like to gift this i would love to give this away to one of my lovely viewers one of my lovely subscribers so if you would like a chance to win this uh what's it called christmas sampler from darin jones so if you would like to be in with a chance of winning in the comment section down below please use the word sampler so yes this is the darin jones christmas sampler so yes in your comment down below please use the word sampler and you have right up until next week's floss tube so today is the 21st of july and the giveaway will run to the 28th of july right up until i film so yeah till next friday so the 28th of july i will pick a winner so yes use the word sampler and um if you win um i will announce the winner on the video um next week but all i will need is your email address as the chart is a pdf but like i said i'm just not going to stitch it i wasn't getting pulled to uh, continue stitching on it so i would love to gift it to one of you guys so yeah um i think that is everything for this week um i think today i am going to stitch on my long dog sampler um like i said this weekend is the 24 hours of cross stitch but there is also a cross stitch zoom this weekend which starts today right through till sunday so i think when i go in later or yeah when i go in later after my tea i will pull out my long dog sampler where's it gone it was in here and now i can't see it there it is so i'm going to work on my long dog sampler which is crossword so yeah when i go in that today later um as part of the cross stitch weekend i'm going to work on my crossword so yeah that's what i'm going to work on today probably stitch a little bit while this is uploading um go down for tea something to eat and then after tea when i come back here i will probably go straight into the zoom and yeah go in there for a little bit and uh yeah speak to everyone as i'm not going to see anybody over the weekend well none of the zoomers anyway um but yeah so that is everything for this week so yeah like i said that was a floss tube 119 so yeah that is everything for today guys so i hope 
you all have a wonderful weekend and yeah i will see you guys again on monday for the disney doll's house so remember guys in a world where you can be anything be kind bye guys <laughs>